Like a wheel within a wheel, never ending or beginning. Like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. Visit. Stogiegeeks.com forward slash debonair for a list of retailers who carry debonair cigars. Buy some today and get a little more debonair. Welcome back, everyone, to the Stogie Geeks Show. This is our debonair ideal segment for this evening. Cigars and golf. Yes. Just goes together. Yes, it does. It Mr. Really does. Mr. Will Cooper had the best quote when we were talking about doing this segment. So, Will, I want to talk about cigars and golf. I'm like, do you golf? He's like, well... I go to the golf course and I smoke cigars. <laughs> it's like <laughs> no, occasionally <laughs> I might I might hit the ball every once in a while, but mostly I'm just smoking cigars. <laughs> I call it cigars and opportunity. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. it. That that is exactly um you know, look <laughs> I just don't have the patience. <laughs> I just I'm I'm i coop. That's why I go to golf course with a cigar and a drink. That's it. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. I, I've been called, see, I've been called a golf hater because for two reasons. One, because of that. And two, because I think the state of pro golf right now is unwatchable. I All think right. there's no superstars. It, there's no, I mean, it's, there's way too much mediocrity in the Masters right now. Some of these guys in the Masters, I'm sorry. They're not, they don't belong in a Masters tournament. They, yeah. they, they, they don't belong selling hot dogs there. I'm sorry. You win one tournament, you, you, don't, you shouldn't be in a Masters tournament. Yeah. And I'm told I'm a hater. But, so go figure Whatever. it out. But now yeah. Tiger Woods was the superstar of golf, mm-hmm. right? He was, and he had these intangibles. That right. He, he was hard to like. He was hard. You know what? He was hard to like, but when his game was on, his oh, game was Oh, it was unbelievable. On. He was yeah. he was very special. No doubt about that. That, that U.S. Open he won when he had the uh, broken leg. Mm-hmm. That's epic. I mean, but you know, I mean, I I'm see, I'm older, and I go back to the days of uh, Tom Watson, Jack, Jack Nicholas, Nicholas at Pebble right. Beach was yeah. unbelievable. Arnold Chichi Palmer. Rodriguez, Arnold Palmer. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, so what, what we're basically saying, we don't like what's what's the word what the what's the NFL's word of oh, so the parody in golf. Or any sports we don't like, we like that big f- front runner or that yes. that yes. special person that you can really draw to. No, <clears throat> don't you think Absolutely. that's in all sports, including golf too? M- mo- probably more so in golf than other sports. Like, wow, I mean Tiger Woods. I mean, we yes. figured he was going to set every possible personal record in golf, and unfortunately, because of his back injuries and right. woman problems, we'll go speak <laughs> basketball. And Michael Jordan, right. right? Exactly. We like that big yeah. dominant yeah. superstar. Exactly. The dominant team, I think, right. is really what. But, and we talk about, too, when, you know, they expanded the pro sports leagues, the level of talent diluted. And I think that's mm-hmm. what yes, I think that's golf's great, in that. Yeah. I think golf needs to look at that right now. Because I think hockey was you, the first one to fall for that, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Will. I think you hit the nail on the head there. Yeah, because I tell you what, I, I have kids who are, you know, I have teenage boys. I have a boy <laughs> who's going to be 21. And I'm not seeing them really get riveted to golf for, for what's happening. Um, so if Tiger was here, I think it would be a different story, but I'm just not seeing, and golf is huge in North Carolina. I'll say, oh I yeah, you, just, you have oh, a gorgeous big, golf courses but, out yeah. there. But people in the, in the cigar stores watch every golf tournament. Isn't it the most so, boring thing in the world? They, <laughs> and they know, so when it's I start like saying, who are these drive. guys, they can rattle off stuff like, uh, like Rain Man about these. So <laughs> there's a, there's some serious golf. It, not only is it played here, but there's, it's a big spectator sport. But down cigar here. retail owners it, love golf. See, and golf you, season, you, you, right? you read my mind because yeah. what I uh, what I try to do is fill my head with in a different reason. I love golf uh, golf season. Know why? To get that person to cross over to smoking all year round. Yes, and yes, smoking right. a better. Vitola. I mean, it is yeah. what it is. You smoke it, what you smoke on the golf course. It's I, and I we got smoke it. sitting in a lounge. Right. right. I got it. I understand what they're. No, they're, this is they're, a fantastic point. So the, yes. that's my opportunity. So when everyone's watching someone to putt, and I and I get it. I, I, I it, it is it is something else. You know. Yeah, but but by the but, way, Crook, you don't want to go play golf with me. Here yeah. in the <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring cigars and we can have a great cigar <sighs> afternoon. But you don't want to mm-hmm. play golf with me. <laughs> eh, you never know. You never yeah. know. 
Anyway, so what's up? Except you, it's in this little tiny ball, little tiny hole. Like, yeah. And please, and, and, please. But no, you're right. The retailers yeah. love golf. Oh, there's no doubt you, about it. And how many people do you talk to when you tell them that you're in cigars or I do a cigar mm. show or you work at a cigar store, and they're like, oh, yeah, I like to have a cigar when I golf. Yeah. It, oh, that's oh, a huge. lot of people. Oh, But huge. I love your statement is, and I do the same thing, you try and convert them from just being a cigar smoker who right. only smokes on the golf course right. to being someone who smokes all the time. Right. And I love making that transition because typically – when you're on the golf course, and it's interesting, like if someone comes over to your house who's not a regular cigar smoker, and you hand them a, you know, six or seven inch cigar, mm. and they're like, oh my God, I don't know if I can finish that. But that same person on the golf course would be like, yeah, yeah. I smoke a really big, mild cigar right. on the golf course, because mm-hmm. um, that's the kind of cigar I think that lends itself towards most, and I mm-hmm. see it when I'm, I'll tell you my story about Wakefield Street. Yeah. Drive down Wakefield Street. There's two golf courses, right? You see yeah. guys, they got the big yeah, cigar. Oh, right? absolutely. You know, oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, yeah. right? And, and and just maybe that will that could push us over in the CRA when they realize they can't smoke on a golf course. They tried that, and sh- it almost happened in Charlotte. And, wow. and I'll say this, the retailers got involved with that. Because um, yeah. when the outdoor smoking ban was going to go in for the parks here, it was going to include the public mm-hmm. golf courses. Mm-hmm. And I'll say this, the retailers in Charlotte really stood up on that one, and it would have went through had they not taken action. Yep. So there so, you go. See what happens. Yeah. Small it's victory yeah. sometimes. <clears throat> but, you know, we talk about cigars, right? And, and I just ordered, Paul, for us um, the, ga- the Davidoff scorecard, which is a, a set of golf cigars, right? Yeah. Well, they did the Davidoff golf. Right. And this which was the this year. Oh, in that in that set is yep. phenomenal. Right. So, But here's the thing. They're great cigars. So the question, you know, and this is why this segment really intrigued me. Do you take those great cigars on the golf course? No, or do you, no. You, or do no. you take, yeah, that, that's kind of where I'm going is like maybe you have those after golf, right? Mm-hmm. But, but there's nothing wrong with, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't take them on the golf course, but you're distracted on the, unless you're me. Go on the 19th smoking. hole, that's what that's now, all I'm, about. If, that's if right. I'm smoke, now, if I'm smoking on the golf course, I can smoke anything because I'm not, I'm just like loitering and hanging around. But I picture Will as the, the guy like driving the golf cart, yeah. just, just smoking the cigar, just driving people around. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I want to be. That's exactly uh, I'm, what I'm I want I'm in the back seat, just <laughs> take I'll, me I'll along. Bourbon, I mean, he gets guys, bourbon, yeah. he gets some cigars. <laughs> it's all good. Yep. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, exactly. off the cart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but that's where some of the there's some really good value price oh. cigars that we can look at, and mm-hmm. where you can have a you don't have to take a and there's nothing wrong with bundle cigars by any means. You could take those if that's mm-hmm. what your budget is. But if you want to have some good, there's some really good like cigars in that six to eight dollar range that they're perfect for the golf course. I'll, I'll tell you one that just and I was talking to my local rep, and they just put it out there. It's a premium selects by Ashton, and you're looking at. Under five dollars. Oh, nice! Yes. Uh, it's under five dollars, and they're in. Uh, I don't want to call them cabs, but they're in boxes of fifty. And mm-hmm. we probably go through about in the golf season five or six or more a month. And what's up? What size? They're on bandit. Churchill. Like, I was gonna say a Churchill. Churchill. Because okay. I was gonna say for me, like a Churchill would be a size I would recommend if someone's going golf. And, and 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 when they first come in, um, don't quote me to the exact. I would say two or three years ago, or a minimum of three years ago, they came in. Right, and uh, I'm saying, my goodness, okay, I I don't think. And now, how's this back ordered? Wow, over a million cigars sold on premium selects. Wow, and it's, it's a, a four or five dollar yeah. Churchill under five dollars. Under five dollars. Under five. Churchill. That's great. Rhode Island now. You know, yeah, Rhode yeah. Island because mm-hmm. of our tax purposes and mm-hmm. whatnot. So, in most places, it probably it's got to be under six. It's got to be in most places. Right. And it and it just blows right out. It it really does. And and nothing too strong either. No, because no, a lot of times when you go and golf and mm. the eating comes after, yeah. right? And, and you're, if you're playing it you're out there for a long time, you're not gonna be eating right. I don't know, maybe people do eat on yeah, the golf course. I, I don't know. I, I you know you might snack yeah. on the golf course. You're not sitting down and having a burger. Well maybe I, some I, people know, some do. Some of these golfers knows? I see, I think they do golf and I think they know? take a grill, there's like a flip mm. out grill on mm. some of there. I can s I can see that. That's yeah, but, fine. But, but it, my, I would go mild to medium. Oh, oh mild, course, yeah. because the whole thing is that's what they don't mind. If you turn around, you get a Davidoff that's twenty five dollars, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, you're smoking, and then you're on a fourth hole, and then you thought you left it in your in, in your uh, little cart there or something, and three holes later, you remember it's back at there, or like, <laughs> you see the guy running back to the to the. You to see the your buddy hole. putting yeah. it on the tee, uh-huh. tee, tee exactly. up with it. That's happened yep. to you, Mark, yeah. hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the son of a bitch. I remember like that. No. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and unfortunately, that's everyone wants to be play. I'm 
someone athletic and they say, well, you play. And no, I've never played before. And I and people think that I'm like some kind of a ringer or something. No, I'm just kind of somewhat athletic. And But I just can't, I can't get into that, you know. You know what's amazing? You go to a football game, an extra point. They're calling you a bum. They're yelling at you. You're at the yeah. free throw line. You're making the putt. And you can't talk. You pussy. You know and what I mean? Don't say clap. nothing. Ah, Don't no make one. a sound. You may screw this up. Oh, and then, please. And no one boos. No one boos the golfers. You know? Oh, they It's suck. never booing at a golf you course. You know what I mean? And God forbid, if this guy shows any emotion, he missed the putt. No, uh, he may get thrown off the course. <laughs> I'd be winging that thing at the person, you know? Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. my car. No. That's why they'll never get me back on the course. But anyway, but it's it's a, awesome. it's, it's, it is. It's, it, that seasonal scenario is huge. <clears throat> this is like probably uh, a skiing in the wintertime when right. people want to. <laughs> it, it's amazing. On Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, uh, I, I've got to look at my numbers. I bet you it's up. <clears throat> A minimum of thirty five percent when when it's a nice weather, yeah, and it's golf, golf season. Yeah, because yeah. what they also have a lot of too is what they'll do is a lot of golf. Like you just mentioned, I, I don't know if it was you or Paul. I mean, you with uh, Coop after the eighteen holes, they'll have like a, like another uh, the, cigar. The, the, yeah. Not only is another cigar, but the wife's there. They bring the kids. They have a, a like a, a cookout, a, like a little co- yeah. cookout at the clubhouse. Mm-hmm. So what do they do? They put t- put together two or three cigars, mm-hmm. and now it, and that's. It's, it's huge. We have a lot of golf dinners, right. quote unquote. Really? So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Up here, it's huge. It, it really is. But it, it, you know, none of us are really huge golfers, right? Mm. But I think it's important to have a sport like golf that oh, embraces absolutely. cigars. I think that having that conversation with Glenn, mm-hmm. right? Having this and hearing the story in North Carolina, I mm-hmm. think it's fantastic that yeah. that's a sport that really embraces cigar it, it, smoking. Extru- I, I tell you what, I think golf is. To be honest with you, I'm one of the most passionate people about this sport. They sports are. And, and I it's, fully it's, respect that, too. Me, like too. If you're all in the golf, all, you Good know. Good for you. That's awesome. Absolutely. That's awesome. It is. It, it, Not it necessarily is. our thing. It's but. A, yeah, right. It's a skill level. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, but the whole thing is, it comes down to where I'm good for you. Go golf your brains out, but smoke. You know right. what I mean? Well, yeah. That's what people tell me. They're like, oh, you like cigars. You should golf. Mm. Because they go hand in hand. And they're like, oh, you like whiskey and bourbon and scotch. Right. That seems to go with it, too. And yeah. I'm like, I'm going to go to the golf course, and yeah, I'll drink, and yep. I'll smoke. Maybe not so much golf, but I'll drink, and I'll smoke, and that, and it's beautiful, yeah. right? The golf courses are absolutely gorgeous. Isn't You're outside. It it's a nice day. You're with friends. It does. Oh. I'm going to... We I, should all just go golfing. See, I can never make. We should just drive from hole to hole. I'm never, <laughs> the three of me, us. Me, the yeah. three of us going to go golfing. Yeah. We're just going to drive from hole to holes. hole. Eighteen holes. We'll get arrested for DWI. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen holes. What was your score? I don't know. We oh. didn't take out the clubs. We just said, we just drove from hole to hole and we're drinking and smoking. Mm. <laughs> I can see it now. Oh yeah. West Park awesome. Police be outside the hole. I, 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 no, no, whatever. But, but yeah, you know, and it's always that, you know, I think someone mentioned in the chat room, maybe in Kruk, the uh, Miguel Angel Jimenez always has a cigar. Love that guy. Mm-hmm. Great. Always has a cigar in his mouth. And uh, uh, yeah. I love seeing that. I love to see that part. Yeah, it, 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 and one, just to go back to, uh, real quick, to, to go back to Glenn, I got Mr. Daly, 82 years old. And uh, he smokes probably like five cigars a day. And I was mentioning the FDA. He says, back when I was a kid, we wouldn't even give a shit. You know, and, and he, yeah, I was trying to explain yeah, it to him. Yeah. But it just made me think of that golfing old people. Right. God bless them. <clears throat> it's, it, it just goes back. But anyway. All righty. Well, that's our debonair ideal segment for this evening. Thanks for watching. Get out there and golf and have a yeah, cigar. Have a cigar, cigar right? We encourage you to golf even though we're not the golfers. That's right. And we'll Absolutely. go golfing with you and we'll bring cigars. Yeah, see, Nathan, it wasn't that bad. No. <laughs> he, knows, he knows he's listening. <laughs> we'll be right back. That just made me think of something.